Hello, here for a ticket to the show? Can I buy a ticket, please? Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends, the turtle said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, Well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Come again, even better the second time.
Hello there. That horse doing all right? If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Welcome back. Come on, ladies. This sirloin will put a smile on your man's face. Guarantee. Easy, easy. Yep. You know, thank you, Mr. Hmm. You know something, Arthur? What? You was always special to me. All these years. All these things we done. Good things. Bad things. All these people we seen passed on. You was always special. We live in or die in this time, Dutch. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me.
Tilly. Mary Beth. I'll need some more materials before I can make something like that. Thanks, Pearson. Miss Karen, how are you getting on?
Okay, feller. Yep. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Uh. Now I, I gotta get out of here. No. Oh. 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 Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Okay, boy. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat. Friend, I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Hey! 
Hey, Reverend! your hands off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. Next time. Oh, oh my god, you killed him. I'm gonna get the law on you. Mr. Morgan, I, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Your hands off him. What did you just say to me? I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. <laughs> you want me to kill? Uh. You bastard! Get your hands off him! What did you say to me? 
Hey, I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. Come on. Mistake. You can still be saved. Huh? What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Get it. Come on. Move. Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 oh no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. Don't mind if I do. Come on now, boy.
What are you mumbling about now? Yeah. Hey, man. So up. Uh, Let's go, boy. Shut up. Yep, yep.
Warning. So fast, man. Go, boy.
when he'd show up. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll... Keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. 